Hey guys, it's Danny. Now, after posting my tuna pasta salad a few weeks back, a lot of you mentioned that you'd like to see some more make ahead lunch ideas. So I thought I'd share with you my latest obsession. For this quick bite, I'm making my brown rice feta and spinach pie. Now, this is one of those recipes you probably already have all the ingredients on hand for. So what you want to do is heat a large nonstick saute pan over a medium high heat. And to that, we're gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil. Then once that oil is hot, toss in one chopped onion and a fat pinch of kosher salt. I'm just gonna let this go about five minutes or so or until those onions are translucent and smell nice and fragrant. Now in the meantime, we wanna work on our eggs. So what you wanna do is grab two eggs, four egg whites or a half a cup of egg whites, a quarter cup of low fat milk, one more little pinch of salt, and some fresh black pepper. Then you're just gonna whisk that all together. Now, if you wanted to make this dish a little bit richer, you could go ahead and skip the whites and do all eggs, so you would use four eggs. Or if you wanted to make it lighter, skip the whole egg and go for eight whites, which would be one cup of egg whites. Okay, so we're just gonna leave this here and let's go finish up the veggie mixture. The onions are looking good. So to this, I'm gonna add three cloves of minced up garlic, one 10 ounce bag of spinach that I defrosted and then squeezed out really dry, and three cups of pre-cooked brown rice. Then we're just gonna bring that all together and let it go another minute or two. Really all you wanna do here is get that raw edge off the garlic. You know what guys, if you're short on time, this right here could be dinner. You just dice in some fresh tomatoes, sprinkle a little bit of feta cheese over the top, and bam, you got dinner for the family. Now, once your brown rice and veggie mixture is ready to go, you just wanna scoop it all into a nice big bowl, and then we're gonna add in a cup of chunky crumbled feta cheese. Now, whenever I buy feta, I always try to buy it in the block version because if you buy it pre-crumbled, one, you end up with a container full of itsy bitsy tiny crumbs of feta, blah, and two, um, they have to use anti-caking agents so the crumbs don't stick together and the feta cheese never ends up tasting as rich and creamy and delicious as the block version. So always pick the block. Once you've got the feta in the bowl, you're gonna add your egg mixture right over the top and then just gently toss this a couple times to make sure we've got everything incorporated. Next step, you're gonna pour the entire mixture into a nine inch pie pan that's been coated with a little cooking spray so nothing sticks. And then just use your spoon to flatten out the top. And this is going right into a 425 degree oven for 25 minutes. Now, I really want you guys to feel like you could make this recipe right now with what you have in your house. So if you don't have any brown rice, what about some quinoa or some barley? No frozen spinach, maybe some frozen collard greens or broccoli. And for the cheese, well, I mean, come on, it's cheese. Can we really go wrong there? I don't think so. All right. Mm. So once your pie is finished, you're gonna notice that it'll be set in the middle and the edges will be nice and browned. Mm. Then once the pie is cool enough to handle, you can go ahead and cut it into six fat wedges and then pop them into individual containers. Then once your week gets going, you've got your lunch prepped, packed, and ready to go. For more simple and nutritious recipes, tips, and ideas, make sure to check out cleananddelicious.com. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you next time with another quick bite. so confused. Do you remember that song? I know what you're doing. I'm not singing.